Hey, lovies. So this is part two, and I'm just jumping right on in to talk about what's happening in Divine Masculine's world. So um, check out part one. I really went in for Divine Feminine. I do encourage that you do go back and listen to that because this is going to help you to ascend on your journey, okay? Now, as far as with the Masculines, they are doing some type of integration. It's like multidimensional healing, all right? So they're doing healing on whew, a lot of levels is how I'm seeing it, okay? So and this is this is what they're called to work on at this time let's see integration all right 47 okay so i just think 55 it's some sudden changes some things are going to be happening let me because that 55 keeps coming up. What's happening here? What's the 55? Why I keep saying 5-5? Five, five? The Emperor card comes in the reverse position here. That's the Divine Masculine Energy. The higher font card comes out, okay? So when it comes to them being committed to a certain process and because they're not very structured or disciplined, okay, in that aspect, um, yeah, the King of Wands comes out in a reverse position. On top of that, it's like they're non-committal to this process, okay? Non-committal to the journey, non-committal to divine feminine, right? Ace of Wands comes out. So there's definitely going to be some sudden changes that's going to help them to two of wands comes out so you can see it to begin planning, all right? Um, Whatever is coming through, of course, it usually kind of like takes you by surprise. Okay. Yep. Look, and it's going to put them on path. High font is how it's coming out. Okay. So that's that energy is there. This is about, um, again, like they are now being faced to choose which tradition they're going to embrace and how they're going to do it. Okay. So this is what they're being challenged to do. And something is definitely going to shake it up all right so my spirit team only gives me what we need to know okay so um my goal is to help us to learn how to stay present all right king of pentacles in a reverse position because sometimes reading tarot and stuff like that can put us um too much in the worry energy i feel like if we hear these messages that are showing telling us like oh they're coming back we're doing this da, 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 we end up having this hope that um creates disappointment if it doesn't happen the way that you think it is or the timing okay so i'll try i'm trying to gear my messages now to stay in the present and what you need to do in your now to continue to ascend on your journey all right so i'm going to be a whole lot different from what you have been hearing um with you know other readers but however it's sometimes that my spirit team may come through and drop some tea i mean hey right but Otherwise, that's not the main focus of my messages. And again, King of Pentacles in the reverse position. It's like um, what's going to happen, again, integration is what's happening so that they can come from out of this lower self that they're in, okay? Um, and their path is really directing them to go deeper internally. Even with the Ace of Wands I'm seeing here, it's like they're getting this clarity um, there that is helping them to cultivate this inner balance, okay? So they're assimilating fragments of information and wisdom from their soul to help them to go forward. This is a process that cannot be rushed, Divine Feminine, as you already know, okay? And I feel like your masculines know that too as well, um, that they can't rush this process. Because the revelations that they're literally uncovering is going to help them to discover the depths of who they truly are so that they can integrate with their highest version of themselves. If I'm not mistaken, this card may have came out yesterday too as well. Okay, so yep, they're transmuting dense karmic debris um, as they are continuing to adjust their behaviors. Okay, they know it's time to change some of the patterns and set intentions to keep moving along for their personal growth. So the universe is definitely showing them or their angelic guides, however, is definitely showing them what they need to be doing. Um, and now it's just about them really taking that action to get themselves back into alignment so that they can, be, again, stay connected to their true purpose and be committed to this. Okay. Um, 
Let me just see, because that was in the reverse. And, you know, that higher font is in the reverse a lot. Uh, it's like it seems like it's challenging for them in a way, right? The emperor comes out, right? Because it's something about them in conforming. <laughs> okay, so what is it? Tell me about this and them conforming. It's like they like rebellious or they, they like to do things very unconventional. They have these very unconventional lifestyles. Page of Pentacles in the reverse, in the wheel card in the reverse. It's like almost as if, again, like the maturity level could be like not there. Let's just say it that way. But when it comes to here, yeah, so you can see the Page of Pentacles. But when it comes to their commitment level, it's like they lack that, right? The will card comes out in the reverse position again. So it's, it's, they don't have really any control over this is how I'm seeing it. Look, that ace of swords. Okay. So I've seen it come out in another deck, but they don't have any control over it. It's a lot of external um, factors that are affecting their situation. And it's like, it's pushing them. Like you, you must integrate, you know, you must go through this healing process so that they can get to their breakthrough, right? So that they can get to emperor energy. Okay, so mm -hmm, justice. So again, the universe is literally bringing balance. That's how I'm seeing it to the masculines. Hmm. Power of love is what I feel led to. Tell me about divine feminine. Release. And divine masculine. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. Okay, so I feel like a lot of divine feminines are definitely experiencing some type of um it's just something that it feels like it's taking over the collective it, emotionally. I don't know if it's the change in seasons. I don't know. Again, it could be because you're clearing these core um wounds. It's anxiety um, issues is what I'm hearing, depression for some, um, but you literally have the power. So remember to ask your angelic guides or the universe, however it resonates for you to take whatever these energies away. Okay. Um, so definitely release and present comes out for the divine masculines. Um, it's about them living in the moment, living in the now. So let's see what release speaks about. So the moment has arrived, Divine Feminine, for you to truly usher in the healing power of love by letting go of all the illusions you have been holding on to that no longer serve your highest good. You now have the power to release the stagnant energy of old emotions and behaviors such as shame, regret, and self-criticism and create a new space for love, self-acceptance, and forgiveness. You are an energetic being, and besides all that energy that you attract to you from within, an equal amount of energy is directed at you by external forces. You have no control over the intention behind this energy, but you do have control over whether you allow it into your space. So every day you walk through a minefield of energy, and you must be conscious of where you step. Nevertheless, as an empathic, sensitive being, you will at times unknowingly absorb these foreign energies. Over time, the toxicity builds up in your own aura, and you can begin to feel exhausted, depressed, and unbalanced. Take the steps necessary to expel toxic energies from your space. Perform a ritual every time you bathe in which you envision a golden light washing away unwanted energies and releasing it to the healing powers of Mother Nature. You can only be affected as a beacon of love if you make the effort to keep your energy clear, okay? When you constantly release the old and negative, you make room for the new and positive, all right? So remember, you got to keep your energy clear. You got to release. It reminds me of, um, I did a Virgo reading yesterday. So if you are Virgo, definitely check that out if you got it somewhere in your chart. But it was on, um, it was the Macarba of um, Light. I think that's the name of it. But let me see something. I'm about to run out of time. So I'm gonna have to go into part two. Yeah, the macabre spiritual protection. And so I'm going to read this to you guys in part two and then finish out, you know, with the masculine. I'm sorry, in part three. Okay, this is three parts already. But it's about you being open to receive. Okay, this is how you're going to gain empowerment, your strength, and all manners of assistance. 
Now, you got to declutter and cleanse your energy field. And this is what this invocation from this book is going to help you to do. So stay